I want to make a very important point here relating to weather in the Philippines. If you have rain, it's not like the West. It's rain that grinds everything to a halt. It's rain that can get you sick. You'll hear people not turn up to work in the Philippines because it's raining. And in the West, you go, so what? It's raining, stop complaining, you're fired. In the Philippines, though, it causes fever. Um, it causes people to get sick for weeks. And you've got to bear in mind, the cost of medication is more than the earning the salary a lot of times. So it makes sense for them to say, look, I'm not coming to work because it could also be that they can't move their kids to school, etc. On a holiday note, ferries stop. In bad weather, the ferries do not go out. Um, in bad weather, I recommend you don't go out in a new ferry that will. I've been on the uh, island hop where the weather to me wasn't that bad. It was a little bit windy. The boat was struggling a bit. All the kids were crying. Everyone was wearing life jackets and stuff. Myself, well, I wasn't too <coughs> bothered, but the uh, history of ferries and stuff in the Philippines is not great. So going out in bad weather, it's not good. But you'll find traveling around, if you're going by bus, going by private vehicles or whatever, it is not easy. Um, what happens is a two-hour excursion could cause cost the day. Uh, where JV, uh, Jovi was on Negroes, it took like an hour to get to this place up in the mountains. But coming back, the river, it, it, they would, the stream had become a river, and if they left it another hour, they'd be stuck there for at least one to three days because it couldn't cross. That is the Philippines. Rain grinds everything to a halt. You got landslide issues, very common. You got the the problem that people keep building and don't put any drainage in. As you can see on the video I put that we're watching, the street is flooded. That's the same street that I filled later with stone. Why didn't I concrete it? Reason, the water can flow through the stone still. The water can still keep flowing. Um, I'm not trying to create a barrier. I'm trying to allow water flow. Could I put drainage in? The answer is yes, and we do actually have drainage. Underneath uh, where the balcony we stood on, we've actually ran a channel all the way to the river. None of the neighbors have. None of the neighbors have even asked to tap into ours. There's no interest in it. Yet they will walk around for 30, 40 years getting their feet wet, rather than spending a little bit of money fixing the problem long term. Welcome to the Philippines. Now, you will get problems with walking in this water as well. A lot of open sewers in the Philippines. All that nastiness comes up, including disease. This is why wearing flip-flops in this weather is not good. I know myself, I get like athlete's feet, you know, my feet start cracking and stuff, and it's because of the walking around like the guys in the video have done. It's very difficult to avoid when you get caught out, like, like here, because the rain, when it starts, it just goes bang. It, we're raining, and we're raining for the week. <laughs> you know, it's not, it's not like little splitter splatters. It suddenly just a whoosh, and then it's down in full force. So it does affect people working. It does affect you traveling because when you try to get a bus coming out of the city, for example, they're all full because normally people may take other transport. Um, but in bad weather, they all go on the bus, they're jam-packed, all the taxis jam-packed. You really struggle to get around. Private vehicles, like myself when I'm driving, my biggest problem is I can't see. The rain's coming down so hard, you can't see. There's a lot of bad motors out there as well. I've had it before where I'm taking it at a sensible pace and being overtaken by Pajeros and all sorts. Why? They think it's safer to drive fast home to get there sooner. Um, not realizing driving at the speed they do, they're, they're more likely to go to the undertaker than uh, get home early. That is the Philippines. Chaotic it is in bad weather. Just be aware of it. Just be aware that if you're planning a two week holiday, for example, in the rainy season, that you will get some off days. 
schedule some other bits and pieces in locally that you can do. Schedule other bits and pieces you can go and do, like getting your souvenirs or something, or visiting one of the malls that's inside a huge building. And what I generally do, if I'm caught in the city, I'll go at the mall, have my evening meal and that there, come out later on when it's sort of quieting down and people have gone home, because then you'll get your taxi. But going when it first starts, it's just crazy. They're, everybody's trying to get home, everyone's start, trying to stay dry, and it's just not a nice environment and heavy rain. Also, you get that humidity. You, you just, even stood at the side, you get sticky from the, the amount of moisture in the air. It's, yeah, I mean, I have I put my aircon on in rain, purely because it drags all the moisture out of the air. Uh, you, yeah, it's going full throttle and taking buckets of water out of the, the air in the room. So, be aware of it. <laughs>